If you keep a rifle or a shotgun at home for personal protection, ideally it should be secured against theft and small kids, but you still want to be able to get to it quickly in an emergency. This is where a small quick access safe is a really handy thing to have. They don't take up as much room as one of these big refrigerator sized gun safes. And unlike these cheap sheet metal storage cabinets, they have keyless locks that are easy to open under stress. A couple of months ago, I reviewed some quick access pistol safes, and this is the promised follow-up to that. Today, I'm looking at six different quick access safes for long guns. But first, I wanna throw in another quick plug for the article Detective Spencer Blue wrote for our blog. It's all about avoiding gun theft, and there's a lot of important information in there that I think everyone should know before they go shopping for a gun safe. You can follow the link above or find it in the video description. The safes I picked out for this review range in price from $150 to $400, and they're all pretty different from each other. I know there are a lot of other options available out there, but I think this is a pretty good representative sample of the different types of affordable storage devices on the market for keeping a rifle or shotgun readily accessible. Okay, first up is the Barska Quick Access Biometric Rifle Safe. I really like the size of this unit. It's not too big to fit into a closet, but there's enough room in here for at least two long guns plus a small shelf at the top. It's got holes in the back and on the bottom so you can bolt it down. These locking bolts and the door are not quite as sturdy as they look. It's kind of a cheap imitation of a real safe door, but the more serious drawback here is the biometric lock. If you saw my handgun safe review, then you know for home defense guns, I am not a big fan of electronic locks in general. This is a $250 safe, and at that price, there's just no way the cheap electronics in here are dependable enough to store life-saving emergency equipment. If you decide to use an electronic safe anyway, my advice would be to preemptively replace the batteries on a regular schedule well before they start going bad, and then plan on replacing the whole unit in like three to five years, even if it's still working. Now there's no keypad on this safe. It just has the biometric reader. In my experience, it opens on the first try uh, about 60% of the time. I worked that time. It's also got this, uh, this plate here. There's a bypass key hidden behind that if the biometrics fail completely. Personally, I'd be interested in a safe this size with higher quality construction and a UL certified electronic keypad but something like that would probably have to cost a lot more than what most people are willing to pay for a unit that's only protecting one or two firearms. If I had to pick a favorite out of these six safes, it would probably be the V-Line rifle case. The major selling point for me is the Simplex Mechanical Lock. This is a proven, reliable design that's been around since the 1960s. There's no batteries or anything. You just enter the code and turn the knob and that's all there is to it. Inside, there's enough space for a single rifle or shotgun with a Velcro strap at the top to prevent it from falling out. It's a simple, straightforward gun locker that's easy to use, and there's really not much to go wrong in a high-stress situation. But there are some problems with it. The first is that it's a little on the small side. The interior is 11 inches wide. You can see there's just barely enough room for an AR with a 30-round magazine and a red dot sight. It's also not quite deep enough to fit my Beretta shotgun with a side saddle and a flashlight attached because of the bolt handle. So before you buy one of these, measure your home defense gun and make sure it's gonna fit. The lock is the other issue here. Opening it is not a problem, but the only thing keeping this whole door closed is this little bolt right here. To supplement this lock, V-Line has included two extra latches at the top and the bottom of the door, but they each have to be opened individually with a key Obviously, if you use those, it's no longer a quick access safe. Without the extra locks, if I close the door, there's nothing holding the bottom of the door shut. So I can kind of pry it open just with my bare hand. I can almost fit my finger inside the safe doing this. So this is fine for keeping the gun away from kids. And it's kind of got a camouflage advantage because it doesn't really look like the typical gun safe. But I think if someone wanted to force this open, it wouldn't really be all that difficult. V-Line has addressed all these shortcomings with a unit called the Closet Vault 2. It's like a larger version of the V-Line rifle case, except it goes inside the wall and the latches at the top and the bottom are actually connected to the simplex lock. So you get three locking points without any keys. The downsides are the hassle of installing it and the $600 price tag, which is almost twice what the V-Line rifle case goes for. 
Okay, next we've got the Hornady Rapid Safe AR Wall Lock. It's more like a lockable gun rack than an actual safe. It's designed specifically to fit standard AR-15 or larger AR-10 style rifles, and they've got a version for shotguns too. The grip rests here on this block, and then there's another block here that goes in the ejection port. And then there's an opening here to fit your optic. And when the door is shut, the muzzle ring up here prevents somebody from using the barrel as like a pry bar to pull the whole thing off the wall. Just like the pistol version of the Hornady Rapid Safe that I reviewed, it can be opened with a numeric code, or you can use one of the included RFID tags like this. Or if all of that fails, you can use the bypass key to open it. From a usability standpoint, this is really not a bad unit at all. The keypad is definitely preferable to a biometric reader, but I still just don't trust the long-term reliability of cheap consumer electronics. The ShotLock Shotgun 200M Solo Vault is another gun rack style device. It's supposedly compatible with both pump action and semi-auto shotguns. ShotLock also has a version designed for AR-15s. The lock is a mechanical push button design. It's kind of like a simplex lock, but it's got a bypass key down here, which is not ideal from a security standpoint. The bigger problem with the Solo Vault is that it's not big enough for a shotgun that's got anything attached to the receiver. So if you've got a side saddle like this one, the door doesn't close. Or if you've got an optic on it or even just a rear sight, there's a good chance it's not gonna work. I'd also like to see some kind of muzzle attachment point up here like the Hornady safe has. Another thing you might wanna take into account with any of these bracket type safes is the temptation factor. Human beings are in general a lot more likely to want something if we can actually see it. So for both criminals and for kids, having the gun out where it's visible is just asking for somebody to come and mess with it. If the gun is hidden away, like in a box, Nobody really knows for sure whether there's something in there that's worth their time and effort to break into it. So before you get one of these, just be aware that you're not getting the security advantage that comes from simply hiding the gun from view. The Snap Safe Under Bed Safe is basically a big lockable drawer. It's got enough room for two or three long guns along with some pistols if you arrange them all strategically. It's a really nice storage solution if you own a handful of guns but you don't want a full size gun safe. When you put in your code and turn the knob, these big bolts here in the side retract on either side of the drawer. It's got holes in the bottom for mounting it to the floor or you can secure it with the included five foot steel cable. It seems pretty secure except for the bypass key but you can guess what I'm gonna say about the electronic keypad. It's a deal breaker for me for guns that I might need access to in a home invasion. I have been using this as a vehicle safe and it works great in that role. I've been really impressed with just how much I can cram into this thing and now I don't worry so much about somebody taking my stuff if I stop for Chick-fil-A on the way to the range. This version of the underbed safe just barely fits a shotgun with an 18 inch barrel when it's at a slight angle. The XL model is slightly larger if you want to store guns with longer barrels. Finally, we have the other under the bed style safe, the Fort Knox shotgun security box. The Fort Knox pistol box was my top choice in the handgun safe review and the shotgun box has very similar construction. It's just a big 10 gauge steel box with a spring assisted door and a simplex style lock. Unfortunately, it's a little more limited than the pistol box because of the dimensions. It's 45 inches long and the opening is nine by five. Now that's enough room for most shotguns uh, it might be a tight fit if you've got a pistol grip or something. An AR will kind of fit, but only if there's no magazine or optic attached. But even if your gun does fit, it's not going to come out quite as easily or quickly as it would with a drawer or one of these other safes with a larger door. And there's no cables or holes for mounting it to the floor. So as much as I like the simplex lock, I cannot give the shotgun box the same kind of enthusiastic recommendation that I have given the Fort Knox pistol box. So bottom line, if you really want a great quick access storage solution for a rifle or shotgun, you're probably gonna have to spend more than $400. If you want something that's pretty good, then one of these devices might work if you're willing to make some compromises.